a rifle on a hunting rack, best friend in the back, old hound riding shotgun. I got a camouflage mud truck looking for a big buck creeping through the dusky dawn. Big bright floodlights cutting through the dark night, make a path to the deer stand. Pray to God Almighty, quiet as I can be, waiting for the aftermath. We've been dreaming all year for the season. Waiting for the leaves to fall We'll be looking for a 12-point buck man He'll be chasing that dough Fire up your guns, draw back your bows Let the lead out, let the hammer go Put some meat on the table, horns on the wall Take a picture, show it off to your papa You're a different kind of animal Hiding in the brush, look at what it does Well guys, me and Jeremiah just got the final touch final touches done on our uh, set for in the morning. We got our muddy camera arm hung, we got our stands up, we got our safety harness straps up, our bow holder, our other camera. I think we're ready for in the morning. This is what we got to look forward to in the morning. We got my mineral lake down here, which we've had four deer coming in, four bucks coming into. And uh, we're going to be up here in the morning and see what happens. So we'll bring you something hopefully tomorrow. Now we're going to head over to Dave and Dustin's stand and just do a little bit over there. And then we'll be done. We'll be back in the morning. See you then. Well, folks, the day has arrived. The opening day of the 2013 Missouri bow season. We've been working all year setting up stands, cutting shooting lanes, putting out mineral sites in preparation for today. And the day's here. Opening day. Opening day. And we're ready. The crew's out there, the cameras are rolling, and we're going to bring the best footage we can. Folks, we're sitting here waiting on Dave and Dustin to meet us to hook them up with our camera. We've got little Michael Connors playing on the phone, giving us some inspiration this morning. And uh, we're ready to hit the stand this morning. It's the opening day of Missouri bow season, and we got good feelings, good feelings. Now, I've said that in the past, and it's taken me weeks and more months to kill one, but we'll see what happens. But Morning, folks. September 15th, opening morning of bow season here in southern Missouri. We're getting ready to head to the woods. We've got a few little bucks that's been coming in to the mineral site out here. Uh, but if a doe comes in, we're probably going to put a little bit of, try and put a little bit of meat on the table. It seems like it was never going to get here. It's took forever. It's a, we sure are excited about being out here. Uh, not not as cool as it was yesterday morning, but you know, it's not bad considering what we've hunted in opening season before. Um, we're in a real good spot. We've had some real good pitchers here. Uh, you know, we're we're not picky. No old doe comes through, we'll, we'll stick her too. But uh, we're hoping for a big boy to come cruising through this morning, maybe.
you had plenty of squirrels in the area. All right, folks. Well, that's a wrap for uh, the first morning of Missouri opening bow season. Uh, didn't see anything but a bunch of squirrels this morning. Go figure. Always do, every year. A um, little windy. A little windier than I'd like to, for it to be, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, at least it wasn't hot. We wasn't sweating. No mosquitoes. Didn't have to turn on the thermosel yet. Maybe this evening. But, uh, you know, this is our time of year. This is what we love doing. We were up in the tree, and that's all that matters. It was a good time. Lynn Wilson here. It's the uh, opening day of bow season here in southern Missouri. I'm getting ready to head to the blind. I'm getting in here a little bit later than what I expected. Uh, we're hoping it'll be a good evening. I've been seeing some big bucks in here. But if a big devil presents the opportunity, we'll be more than glad to oblige her. Well, folks, this is where we have one of our cameras, uh, game cameras, where we plan on hunting this uh, fall. This is where we turkey hunted this spring, and this is a, a dry weather, wet weather creek. Uh, and seeing how we've had five plus inches of rain in the last few days, she's up and rolling. So I'm gonna try to make my way down to the, to the game camera and see if I can't see if it got washed away or if it's still there. I just hope it doesn't get up over my boots. It looks like it's washed out pretty good. And once I do, whoa, folks, whoa, stepped in a hole. Really, really wild. I like to say, folks, I, many, many years since not seen it this high. There's places in here that's waist deep that generally never ever has water in it. Well folks here we are down at the spot and to me it doesn't look like the creek got up into this bottom where our camera in Salt Lake's at. You see the camera and I see the salt lick. All right. Whew, that was good. We are good. I'm just glad this spot wasn't over, <laughs> overtaken by water and ruined. So, all right, we'll check back here next week with the camera and see how many pictures we got. So let me get back to the house and I'll, I'll check it out. We're out here today and checked our, one of our game cameras uh, here just uh, about a week ago, two weeks ago. We had some real, real bad floods here in Missouri, southern Missouri, and uh, well, we were not immune to it in our spot here. Um, this whole area here was underwater, so we're hoping that the game cameras are still going to produce like we were seeing uh, prior to the floods. But uh, you know, it's a lot of rain now. The deer, the deer will get back into their normal routines here before too long, and 
they'll be hitting it again. But, uh, boy, I tell you what, it was really rough even coming down here on the four-wheeler this morning. Uh, the road's kind of washed out. It's awful rough riding. But uh, this, is, this is what we love to do. We love coming out here before season, checking these cameras, uh, checking stand placement. Just it's all about scouting. You gotta you gotta have a good game plan before the season gets here. You just can't uh, wake up open in the morning and say I think I'm gonna go hunting. Uh, you gotta have a little preparation. <laughs> You know, it's pretty amazing that with all the rain we had a little over a month ago, it is dry almost everywhere right now. Well, folks, the weather warmed up on us from this evening. So me and Jeremiah decided to put this blind up down here on this pond. A lot of tracks, a lot of turkey tracks, deer tracks. And we figured with this heat, they got to be coming to water. They just, there's no way they can. So we put up the old blind, the Primo's blind. Well, it's the end of the first day of Missouri bow season and me and Jeremiah hunted one of our spots that we had a mineral lake this morning and we saw nothing but some squirrels so we decided to move to a pond because it's been so dry. We thought we'd put a pond up figuring the deer and turkey would be coming to get himself a drink. So we sit up there today and we had several turkeys come in but we just never could get a shot at one. I had a 40 yard shot. But Boy, I take 40 yard shot at a turkey. I just, I just do. So we passed it up, washed them, got some video. But I'm gonna be back out here in the morning, and uh, I'm not sure who's filming for me yet. I may be by myself. I'm not sure. But I'll be back out in this blind in the morning and see if I can't get a deer to come in or a turkey one. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Sixteenth, second day of uh, bow season here in southern Missouri. We're getting ready to head to our, our uh, hay field blind. Uh, last night I got got several does and little bucks on video. Uh, none, of them, none of them were in range for me to go ahead and take them other than about three right at dark and I couldn't get the camera and, and myself situated good enough to go ahead and, and take a shot at them. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get sprayed down now and head on out to the stand. Wish us luck. Uh, and as you can tell, I'm wearing a dark color tonight instead of the regular, what you'd normally think of that a hunter would be wearing. Uh, it's because the inside of our blind is black, so I want to kind of blend in with it. And I've got a long sleeve shirt in the vehicle, but I don't want to sweat too much on the way down there. Stay tuned.
How'd you come across this honey hole? Well, it was kind of by chance. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine that I hang out with all the time, Mike and Matt, uh, they told me that they were in the area, so they took me over there and we scouted the, the property out. We ran across some pretty big bucks running around in there. Sure did, man. Sure did. So uh, we scoped it out a little bit more and the rest is history. What's going on here, bud? Well, uh, I asked my old buddy Edgar. Oh, Edgar. Go with me and film, and he jumped right on it, came and went with me. And we'd been seeing these deer, they were all coming in to the left of us, so that's where we had the tripod and everything set up at. And, and this, these deer came in to our right, so we were trying to position the tripod and everything else to get on the deer so we yep. could get the shot. And uh, plus I had a, uh, itchy trigger finger so <laughs> yeah so at one point in time the camera was actually sitting on my shoulder left-handed shooter and I shoot left-handed yeah. so that wasn't gonna work so yeah sorry about the roller coaster ride there we took you on for a minute but that's what happened but you know what it all worked out in the end though deer down Magnus broadheads, and I kind of can't tell by the 
exit lung here, but on the other side, I double lunged her and she didn't run probably a hundred yards. Uh, I was using the Luminox on the ends of my arrows and uh, it lit up fine through the air, uh, but I still haven't found my arrow yet. So we're gonna go back up here and look for it a little bit more, but we was more concerned about finding her. So we got the first kill of the season and uh, there's been two big bucks running around here, but this place is overrun with does and I need to thank my cousins Eddie and Kelly for letting me hunt here and uh, hopefully there'll be some big bucks killed out of here. What's coming up next week? Hey, on next week's footage we have staff member Daniel Bettis on a feral hog hunt and Bean Creek Outdoor Product uh, staff member Joe Nelson on a great deer hunt. So join us next week folks.